Oh, look, we're in a position that we didn't want to be. Uh, we were uh, determined at this stage of the tor tournament to be in control of our destiny, and we're not. Uh, that hurts the group, um, and uh, all we can do now is control what we can control, and that is prepare well uh, for three remaining pool games, and then uh, allow uh, fate to be um, hopefully uh, leaning on us uh, in terms of our semi-final hopes from there. But uh, we we wanted to be in control. Uh, we're not, and uh, that's the reality that we've faced, and that's certainly hurt the group, and there's been a lot of disappointment over uh, the last period of time. But um, it's a very tight group, and pleased to say that um, you know, we're really looking forward to uh, another opportunity tomorrow. Uh, look, uh, I'm not sure where you get favourites from um, because there's uh, 10 teams in this tournament. There's 150 cricketers uh, who are the best on the planet. And uh, in terms of the ICC rankings, uh, we know they are skewed because we don't get to play India. Uh, we don't get to play a lot of the, the uh, top nations uh, who haven't been to Pakistan of late. So. Uh, look, we were uh, number five in April. Uh, we became number one uh, recently before the tournament, and that might be uh, where you uh, term the uh, phrase favourites. But we're realistic. We, uh, we have not um, uh, been the best uh, in the world as yet, so, which highlights where we are in this tournament right now. Uh, so... Um, Look, there, we have no divine right to beat anyone in this tournament. We have to play uh, quality cricket and we have to put all three departments of our game uh, together. Uh, we are desperate to bring joy to our nation. Uh, we are desperate to make our nation very proud of this cricket team. And uh, we are also realistic in the knowledge that we haven't put all departments of our game together over the last four games. But uh, Four losses uh, does not define who we are uh, as players, uh, as coaches, or a team. So uh, we're determined now to focus on what we can control, and that is uh, putting our best on the park in these last three games, and then uh, putting, uh, leaving that to fate as to, to determine uh, the remainder of the tournament for Pakistan. Uh, look, the environment's great. Um, there's, there's no... Um, uh, there's never any uh, issue in terms of the environment. We have a, a wonderful group of um, players who are very determined, as I said before, to bring joy to their nation, um, play uh, a, a quality, exciting brand of cricket uh, for uh, our fans and uh, to, to make our country and our families uh, proud of uh, the performances that we put on the park. So. Uh, look, that, that, that remains. This is a, a very tight group um, and you know, feel free to wander down uh, towards the dressing room and watch the training today. You will see uh, a, a very good vibe. Um, we're uh, satisfied in, uh, in the fact that we've prepared meticulously well for each and every game. Uh, but we're also realistic in the knowledge that we haven't put all departments of our game together and that hurts us because uh, we haven't quite met uh, the high expectations that we have of ourselves, uh, let alone our fans. So uh, we're very determined. Um, we've put, uh, we have given our fans, you know, a lot of joy and a, and a lot of um, uh, you know, pleasure, I guess. Um, and, you know, we're very proud ourselves of the fight that we showed in the last game against South Africa. Uh, so at times during this tournament, um, you know, Sri Lanka is another good example of chasing down a record score. At times we have provided that, uh, that joy and that hope and that proud um, cricket team that, uh, that our fans want to see playing a brand that uh, makes them proud. But we haven't put that together uh, consistently enough and we're determined to do so. No. No, we don't feel isolated or uh, intimidated by that. Um, we, uh, at, you know, we, Mickey and I, when uh, we took over this team in April, six months ago, we recognised that uh, the team was uh, playing a gear or two below uh, where we wanted uh, the team to be playing in terms of the brand, uh, because we know the brand of cricket uh, that is uh, winning against quality teams uh, is, is a more dynamic brand than perhaps we were playing. 
so we set a new course in, uh, in April this year. Uh, so it hasn't been a big lead into uh, this major tournament for us. Uh, ideally, preparation for a tournament like this starts four years ago. Uh, we started six months ago and, and changed direction in the way that we want to play the game of cricket. And, uh, and the one day, yeah, especially the one day brand. And uh, we've shown uh, some, some positive signs of, uh, of that uh, of over the last six months. And as I've mentioned, you know, during this tournament, we're very proud of some of the performances that we've put on the park. It's uh, taking a little bit longer than we were hoping, um, but we want to play a dynamic brand that uh, matches the challenge of the conditions we're playing in. So this tournament is, um, is foreign conditions for us. Uh, none of our players have played here before. Every venue is a new one, including this one. Uh, so um, you know, we've done our homework meticulously on our opposition, uh, on our venues that we're playing at. And uh, we're, we're prepared uh, very, very well for each and every encounter. Um, but the reality is that each and every venue is a new one for us. Um, and look, we don't feel um, uh, disadvantaged a at all in terms of the knowledge, uh, the, the quality, uh, the skill, uh, the backing that we have for the, this team of cricketers. Um, we've been consistent with our selection. Uh, we've uh, backed our players and we still back our players to, uh, to perform and show the brand of cricket that we want to play that um, matches um, the, uh, the task at hand and also where the best in the world are. And we've acknowledged over the, over the past period of time that uh, we're not uh, at that level uh, that we want to be, but we're certainly pushing hard uh, to improve uh, our brand of cricket because we know that the skills are within our players. Yeah, as I mentioned at the start, there was a lot of hurt um, in the camp, um, particularly after the South African game. Or, you know, Chennai was uh, is a difficult um, venue to assess conditions, as you will know, uh, all well know. Um, we felt we we assessed the conditions uh, well, uh, but in the South African game, we we acknowledge and we we've had a. Um, our skills meeting this morning and part of our skills meeting is that we reflect on the good and bad uh, and uh, you know part of the admission uh, for us is that we didn't have um, our batsmen going quite deep enough in that innings and we probably left 20 to 30 runs uh, out in the middle and uh, certainly 310 to 315 I think in that game uh, would have been sufficient to bring that game uh, to a W for Pakistan. Um, but it doesn't take away the fact that we're hugely proud uh, of the way particularly the uh, pace bowlers performed, uh, the courage that they showed uh, to take uh, wickets th throughout the middle phase of that uh, chase. And, uh, you know, we have eight to ten uh, key performance indicators um, that break down the whole performance. And um, uh, in, in that game, you know, we... Uh, you know, we're particularly hurting because we know that uh, we actually dominated the opposition in a number of those areas. Uh, the one area that is key for us, we try and, um, you know, we try and have one of our top four batsmen going through into the 40th over. We didn't do that, and uh, we uh, have consistently, I guess, throughout our, our batting performance, um, when we were uh, dominating the first two games, uh, we had batsmen going through into that phase, uh, that latter phase, and putting big scores on the board. Uh, over the last four games, we've had batsmen that have got in and haven't gone on. And, uh, you know, those are some of the basics of the cricket that you, you all know so well uh, that are vitally important for us too. So, you know, we're, we've got faith in our, uh, uh, in our lineup and our players. And uh, we certainly look at every performance, um, whether it's a win or a loss, you know, good and bad. We, we critique every performance and we try and... Uh, grab the learnings and keep growing and continually improve, you know, that's our mantra. And while it's, it was bitterly disappointing not to get over the line against South Africa, we thought we'd done enough uh, to get over the line. Um, we didn't, you know, and, um, you know, the key thing for us over the last few days is uh, to continually learn from those experiences, good and bad, and continually grow from those experiences. And I'm pleased to say that, you know, um, we arrive at training today after a very good skills meeting, um, uh, skills meetings uh, this morning, uh, with a real determination to uh, grow from uh, that, that performance. 
you know, uh, we don't want to dwell too much on the past. Um, we're, we're very much uh, looking forward. Um, we know Bangladesh very well. Uh, we've played them in the Asia Cup. We've played them before. Uh, as I said, this is a new venue for us, but we, you know, we've done our homework and we're very much looking forward uh, to, um, to putting our best on the park over these next three games.